Hi Libra, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing great. We're gonna do your reading here in a moment. Um, just the two thing, two things for people who are new to my channel. Everything you need to know is in the description box. I do give away personal readings each month. Basically, you just need to be a subscriber, like the video, and leave a comment. Um, you do have to be a subscriber to see the winners because I do do it in a post. All right. I actually will be doing that pretty soon here. So with that Libra, let's just get started. Going to pull uh, a healing energy oracle for you. Let's see what the energy is here. Okay. We have me. It says here, I allow serenity to reign in me. The love I have for myself invites harmony to settle within my being. I listen to and honor and strive to fulfill the needs of my soul. This is nourishment of your soul. This is you giving you self-love and self-care here. It's the heart chakra. Okay, I, I feel like to, um, I tell everyone this, if you want to say this as an affirmation, if you're someone who needs to work on giving yourself more self-love, then say this as an affirmation daily. And the bottom of the deck here, you have freedom. <coughs> Excuse me, Libra. Sorry, my, <clears throat> my allergies are getting to me. I release my wounds. I release wounds that create doubt resentment and guilt so i work to free myself of darkness i cast off negative thoughts find peace in my heart and discover the being of light within wow here yeah i feel like this is part of you uh focusing on self-care and um this is also there's something here emotional okay so you may be releasing some either negative emotions you may be uh, trying to release um, some emotional attachments is what i'm getting here because this yellow energy here is um the solar plexus chakra we tend to hold in our feelings and our emotions there. And then around it is the uh, sacral chakra, okay? So that's where the freedom comes in because you release it, right? You release those, um, you know, probably negative emotions or it could be fear, could also be doubt. Um, emotions could be emotions that are triggering you and here comes the freedom the passion the desire again maybe even just feeling motivated and feeling excited <clears throat> excuse me all right let's pull some cards here from the archangel power tarot deck let's see what messages we have for leo Please share Leo, huh? Libra. You may have Leo in your chart. <laughs> what messages do we have for Libra? Please share it with Libra, what they need to know. Okay, look at that, beautiful. The Knight of Raphael. This um, is about committed relationships. This could be a romantic opportunity. Um, you know, it could be romance coming back into your life. This is um, a swept off your feet energy. Okay, it can also be things in your life that just uh, make your heart flutter. You feel good about it. Doesn't necessarily have to be love. In, the, in these readings, it could be any uh, situation in your life. Could be somebody um, who is coming towards you with a kind gesture as well. Let's see what else we have. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Ace of Cups energy. Ace of Raphael. This is the heart chakra. Okay, so something I feel here, someone or it feels like a person here. This can be an opportunity or an offer here, but there's something positive coming towards you. It's a new emotional experience, so it could be a new romantic opportunity um, or it could be some sort of opportunity that brings you a lot of happiness, brings you a lot of pleasure here okay and so it's something very fulfilling and long lasting beautiful energy there with archangel raphael all right could be a water sign cancer scorpio or a pisces if you're dealing uh with someone or if it's a new love coming in for you let's see what else we have here 
Beautiful. Okay. I feel like you're going to be in competition with, maybe that's why I said Leo. Okay. Leo had a really nice reading. So if you have Leo in your chart, you may want to check it out. I just posted it, but it says here, congratulations, a wonderful job. Well done. This is the victory energy. Okay. So there's a victory here, something exciting here, something to celebrate. This can also be about recognition or getting attention. Feels like you're getting attention here from someone. Now this could be a promotion. I'm going to say for some of you, this could be a new job opportunity. And look at this. This is amazing. That's why I say your, your reading is going to be in competition with Leo, but you have the star energy number 17, which is eight. And it says a dream come true, believe in yourself. And this is the end of a difficult situation. And I have to say the next card here is justice as well. Some sort of good karma or justice is coming your way. We have um, Aquarius energy here. We also have here Aries, Leo and Sagittarius. Wow, look at that. Look at that. You have on um, the heart chakra, two cards here were your heart chakra. And you also had the sacral chakra in here. And that is with the six of Gabrielle. Okay, so very nice energy so far. Let's see what else uh, comes up here for you, Libra. What else can you share with Libra? Oh my gosh, it's getting even better. The four of wands. Look at that. You may be coming into union here with a soulmate. Now this could be, um, you know, like I said, it could be somebody coming towards you doing a kind gesture. It could be a partner if you're already in a relationship, but this also can be um, family, right? This could be family, um, but this also could be some sort of offer. Like I said, could be a job offer. Uh, coming your way or some sort of offer that brings a lot of happiness, okay, with the four of wands. I always say the four of wands is my everything tied in a bow. And this card actually has some additional uh, meanings on it. There's union and there's also freedom, okay, and there's freedom here. So something here is coming towards you. I feel that is bringing you a lot of happiness and freedom, okay? Unity, okay, can be um, also a very creative energy. This could be something too you're doing. And as the star here, this could be something that you're doing um, that puts you in the spotlight, right? With that recognition. So a lot of different messages here. Um, as I said, it could be different for everybody. What else do we have here? Okay. Oh my gosh. Look at that. The magician, <laughs> you're manifesting this. And this tells you that you have everything that it takes to manifest it, to make it happen. You have the skill set for those of you, if this is, uh, something that you're doing, Beautiful energy. You have the intuition and the insights here. Okay, so wow, beautiful, beautiful energy. I'm getting excited. I'm getting so excited with your reading. <laughs> okay, we have here the temperance card. Okay, so um, this can be about balance. This can be about healing. But I feel like this is about patience, okay? They're telling you that you need to be patient. Could be uh, a Sagittarius energy here coming towards you. Um, it's also, too, another card of, um, can be another card of union or reconciliation. But very beautiful energy here, okay? I feel like this is more about um, finding your own balance. This could be finding your balance emotionally. We talked about this freedom card. Um, I feel here, uh, tempering the emotions, finding your balance because you're manifesting something really nice and stable in your energy. You also have here the Knight of Swords. I think it's the Knight of Swords. Yeah, the Knight of Swords. You know what I, f I, I see here? Remember, um, I, I'm going to date myself here, but uh, the cereal, uh, Tony the Tiger. I think it's Tony the Tiger. For some reason I'm thinking about that <laughs> here uh, with the cereal here. Okay, but Knight of Swords here. Okay, so I feel like with this temperance and the Knight of Swords, you may be feeling really anxious about this or maybe you're feeling excited um, this could be upcoming energy, right? Feeling anxious and excited. That may be why here 
uh, temperance is here. It's about tempering the emotions here. Um, so I'm just going to say you could be, you could go through some highs and lows with this experience. Okay. Whatever this is for you, I have to say you also have here judgment. Okay. So there may be some sort of decision. And with this Knight of Swords, it may be something you're having to make a quick decision about. Um, you know, this can, judgment can also be a revisit of the past. Could be a past situation, maybe coming into union with someone. Um, but uh, for a lot of you, I feel like there is also some something else here, a, a new opportunity for you or an opportunity coming your way. But I feel like you're going to have to make a, a judgment call about something here, okay? Could be this offer, right? Could be this offer or this person coming towards you. So let's see what else, Libra. What else can you share with Libra? Oh my gosh, Libra. A lot of you, this is love because here is the two of cups. <laughs> here is the two of cups, okay? This is a partnership. So you could be in a partnership. This is telling me, sorry, my dog is underneath the table and I just kicked her by accident. All right. I know it's not funny, actually. I didn't kick her hard. It was just a soft tap. But yeah, the four of wands here and you have the two of cups. There's a lot of peace and harmony here with this connection, this relationship. So some of you may already be in a relationship. I'm just going to say there's a lot of happiness here that's about to happen. Some, a lot of you, I feel like this could be a romantic opportunity, someone coming your way. Now, if this is not about love, this can be also a decision of the heart. Um, you know, something that's very close to your heart, this offer that's coming towards you, you may have to make a decision. I think I said that here too. Okay, you may be feeling anxious about it, but I, I really see in a love situation, there's a union here uh, of two people that are going to be very happy together. Wow, okay, you're in competition with Leo's reading. <laughs> I just talked about a decision. We got the two of ones. Um, but I always say with the two of wands and we also have here a uh, magician. So two of wands for me too can be about, um, your plans. Okay. What you're wanting to manifest. Okay. You can't manifest something if you don't have some intention, right? You have to put it out there in the universe. You have to tell the universe, this is what I want or else, you know, nothing may, may uh, come to fruition for you. So this two of wands is about making plans. I feel setting your intention here. This could also be someone making the decision to come towards you. They may be manifesting you in their life, right? If this is uh, a love situation, oh, I put this in the wrong place. This two of wands can also be about partnership. Okay, so we definitely have partnership here with the Two of Cups and the Two of Wands here, okay? These cards have a little bit different meanings. There's a lot of different meanings in tarot cards, um, but these cards um, actually have a little bit different meanings than um, the traditional. Some of them are the same, right? But you'll notice that just so if you're questioning this. All right, let's see what else, Libra. What else does Libra need to know right now? Please share with Libra. Okay, so we got the moon card. Okay, so interesting, it fell with temperance. Uh, we got Pisces energy here. Okay, this can all be all about um, emotion, your dreams here. This can be about your intuition. And so remember, we have um, temperance. And this can be about moderation, okay? And I told you, uh, you know, not to rush here. Um, I feel like, too, there's something about this. Like I said, there could be some highs and some lows here with this situation. Or your dreams may also uh, be guiding you during this time, Okay, about what's about to happen. And look at this. You have a beautiful reading just like Leo. <laughs> okay, you have the Queen of Cups. Okay, Knight of Swords with the Queen of Cups here. Again, a lot of emotion. All right, so um, the Queen of Cups here is definitely a very intuitive energy. You're going to be getting some psychic insights, I feel, Libra, at this time. 
Uh, also feel here too, someone's coming towards you. This Knight of Swords is also communication. So someone's coming towards you. This feels like a very loving energy, a giving energy. Like I said, it doesn't have to be a love relationship. I know a lot of you it probably will be. Um, if you're in a relationship, this is going to be a good time for communication. Queen of Cups here. Uh, there's a lot of uh, compassion here and intuition here. So I feel like Libra, you got um, beautiful energy coming in here. Okay. Now this Queen of Cups here with the Knight of Swords, like I said, you may have to make some sort of decision. You may be feeling anxious. If this is not related to love, I feel like there's an opportunity here for you. Um, I feel like they're just saying, don't let the emotions run wild here um, and do uh, this in moderation and and have patience with it. Okay. At bottom of the deck here, you do have the hangman. So with the hangman, um, you know, we can talk about delays, but I feel like um, this is an energy here of seeing things from a different perspective, okay? This could also be your crown chakra, you know, you going through an awakening here because I do see a lot of energy here of psychic insights, okay? So, gosh, I just have to say, I don't know whose reading's better, <laughs> you or Leo, but let's... Um, most of the readings have been pretty good. So let's see what the coffee cup oracles have to say. What messages do we have here for Libra? Messages for Libra. What does Libra need to know right now? Okay. Oh my gosh, this car keeps coming up. You have the wolf here. Okay. <laughs> All right. I spoke too soon. No, I'm just kidding. Let's pull another card before. I'm going to pull all your cards here before I say anything. Okay. Yeah, you got the moon. Okay. What this wolf means, you got the moon and the wolf. Okay. Um, there's going to be definitely some big changes here or a lot of changes that you're going to be going through. I feel like this is more about your fear. Okay. Fear of the unknown. I'm going to say this also can be jealousy. Um, I feel here there could be someone around you um, because this is beautiful energy and there could be someone around you. Just be cautious what I'm going to say. But I feel like this is about uh, doubt and fear, which actually came up here uh, with the freedom card. Because look at that. You have the dove, peace and serenity, beautiful energy there. So there's a lot of peace and happiness coming your way. So don't let that fear, that doubt uh, get to you. And oh boy, <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm sorry I'm laughing. And I have to say this because people um, have commented that they can't take me seriously sometimes if I laugh. But I'm laughing because I'm so surprised when the cards come out, like what the message is, because they're so on point. But we have rabbit, okay? And it's pregnancy. This is about fears and pregnancy. Some of you may have a fear of getting pregnant, I'm just going to say. Or I'm going to say maybe some of you, if this is around love, like you feel like your clock's ticking and, you know, you want to get pregnant um, and, you know, you don't know if love's coming in your life, okay? So um, a lot of energy there, right? So again, the fears is coming up here. So if you have a fear of, of, of getting pregnant, okay, use protection. All right, let's see what else we have here. Okay, we got the shark here. We got survival and power. And I feel like that's really just you overcoming your fears. Let's see what we got here. Oh, look at that. We have bride. So bride, uh, wife, okay, you could be a wife or a spouse to somebody here, but uh, this could be an indication that you're going to marry this person here, for those of you that this is love. But this also can be about um, just engagement, okay, engaging in um, this potential here opportunity. And the last card is the bottom of the deck, which is the tree. Beautiful energy. This is about stability and growth. So for those of you that this is love, I feel like you could marry this person. Shows a lot of stability and growth here, I feel. And others, the same here. If there's a new opportunity that you are pursuing, I feel there's a lot of success, potential, recognition, and growth. Beautiful reading, Libra, I have to say. 
So we're going to close it out. We're going to pull a message from Spirit and your ancestors. Thank you, Spirit and ancestors, for your guidance. What messages do you have here for Libra? Please share with Libra what they need to know right now. Okay. So, dear Libra, there are times in life when taking a risk is better left for another day. Other times are perfect for taking that leap, no matter how dangerous it might seem. Well, hold on to your parachute strings, for today is leap time. Realize that no matter what, we will not let you fall, drown, get lost, or hurt yourself in any way on this one. Even if it may feel like you are in free fall, we are here for you. And you can stop freaking out about getting hurt and relax into this transition to something new. All the elements are in place and your soul is ready for a new experience. No matter what you're asking about, it's time to take the risk and do that thing that scares you. No matter what happens, you will land softly right on target. Don't worry about the outcome. Spirit's got that covered. It's taking that leap itself. That's the point. We love your courage and embrace it. Wow, so on point here because a lot of doubt, uncertainty, uh, fears um, are showing up in your reading here. And Spirit is saying they have your back. They're not going to let you fail or fall. <laughs> okay. So I hope uh, this reading helped you, Libra. I hope you all have a beautiful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.